<laughs> oh, Emma. Can I read you another one? No. Have you seen my shoes? Can't I read you another one? My shoes. Oh, Joe. Don't worry about it. Don't worry your little head over it. It's not like you spilt milk. You're still very dapper, and you're still very clever, and you're still very wise, and very this and very that. Shut up, Margaret. Well, in that case, you best clothe yourself because the sight of you leaves me cold. Have you seen my shoes? The ones with the buckles? No, never. Of course. Have you seen my tie, the one with the crest on it? What do you need a tie for? Interview. For work. Yeah. At the call center. Yeah. Tonight? Yeah. At this hour? Yeah. What for? A better position. Better pay. Team leader. More responsibility. And they're interviewing you. <sighs> to tell you the truth. Truth I is, you haven't said a word of truth since the day you were born, and you'll keep lying through your teeth until the day I bury you. Will you ever stop whining? Will you ever start winning? Very clever, Barbara. Thought you preferred Margaret. I prefer Elizabeth. We can't have what we want. Pity. why you Catholics give such a litany of names to their children. First, Margaret they gave you, and May, and Grundle. What else? They're baptismal names. All eight of them? Anyway, you best run along, Joe. You're going to be late for your job or the interview or whatever else it is that you need the ugly tie for. Will we baptize our child, Margaret? Who are you trying to kid, Joe? With the way things are with you, we'll be lucky if we can baptize a cat. It's not my fault your ovaries are burnt up with syphilis. You are a lout, Joe. And you, Margaret, are a louse. Why do you hate me, Joe? Because you're unlovable. Why do you hate me, Margaret? Hate makes the world go round. 